Hello, I'm Ian White, Vice-Chancellor and President of the University of Bath. As we come to the end of 2022, I wanted to take a moment to reflect on all that we have accomplished together as a community. We all know that the last 12 months have not been easy and the ongoing challenges arising from the COVID-19 pandemic, the real and ongoing financial pressures and the wars and conflicts across the globe have affected many in our community. But they have also brought out the best of us in many ways. Time and again, contributions and support at individual and collective levels, far too numerous to mention here, have made such a great difference to so many, both within our university and beyond it. I therefore pay particular tribute to all members of our university community. Our staff, both academic and professional service staff, worked so hard that from the start of the year we were already delivering an excess of 90% of our teaching in person. An outstanding achievement. We have, of course, been tremendously proud of the achievements of our elite sports people and teams winning awards and breaking records at national and international levels. Having witnessed the joy and excitement of Freshers' Week events on campus and met with more than 40 leaders of student society since, I've heard firsthand about the most positive impact of opening up the university so strongly following the full relaxation of COVID restrictions. More than 12,000 are now participating regularly in sporting activities. Approximately 2,000 students are full members of art societies, creating our wonderful musical and theatrical performances. And many others are involved in the myriad of other societies, clubs and subject groups. I've been delighted to see the renewed vibrancy of our community and the immense commitment and skill of our dedicated student leaders, including our excellent student officers. Of course, it is not only our student community that has rebounded so impressively, and I have very much enjoyed the opportunity to visit a number of departments this semester, to talk informally with staff and hear about their experiences, as well as exciting ideas for the future. Their dedication and excellence has been so clearly seen, and I'm so grateful. It is heartening to see how our achievements have been externally recognised, perhaps most notably by the Times and Sunday Times Award of University of the Year 2023, a major accolade which has drawn much attention to Bath both nationally and internationally. This reflects the cumulative result of tremendous and sustained hard work over recent years, Work which is now bearing fruit, as shown by many achievements across education, student experience, research, innovation and elsewhere in recent years, in line with our strategy. Thank you so much for all you have contributed over this period. Earlier this month, I had the honour of attending our winter graduation ceremonies. It's always a great pleasure to see our students graduate and to witness the very special atmosphere of celebration that marks the culmination of their tremendous efforts. Our students leave Bath not only with a valuable degree but also as well-rounded individuals with the skills, experience and values to help them make real difference in the world around them. The ability to solve problems, resilience, ambition, empathy and compassion. This year, our Gold Scholars have impressively logged over six and a half thousand hours of volunteering time and have been particularly heartened to see staff and students taking time out of their busy schedules this winter to volunteer at Cozy Wednesdays, our local community warm space for older residents in Oldfield Park. I'm so grateful to work with such an outstanding community of colleagues and scholars. As we look forward to the festive season, I encourage each and every one of you to take some time to rest and recharge. May I wish you all a happy Christmas and extend my very best wishes for 2023.